We ought to always have a prayer in our heart. But there is something about saying the words, and for me, saying them out loud. There are many lessons that come out of the Sacred Grove experience, and not the least, not the least is the opposition that Joseph faced before the great revelatory moment of the Father and the Son. Joseph said that he exerted all his power, took everything that he had, and so there's a pretty good lesson in that for all of us about muscular prayer, uh, urgent, determined prayer uh, to fight through, whether it's the adversary's opposition or or the cares of the day or the distractions of our mind. I think one of the lessons that I get from that is the reminder to me personally that I need to say the words. Prayer is an expression of the heart, and I, we can pray silently. We ought to pray silently. We ought to always have a prayer in our heart. But there is something about saying the words, and for me, saying them out loud. And so I'm reminded to not get by on the cheap, if you will, about uh, prayer. We need to carve out time and good time, uh, high priority time, when we can say the words. Kneel uh, where possible, be vocal, be out loud, uh, and really have that communication. Uh, individuals who might wait for their evening prayer until 1130 and they're exhausted and uh, the day has taken its toll and we get a kind of a half-hearted prayer out uh, before we tumble into bed, I'd say move that prayer up when we're alert and attentive and, uh, and can think about it and be powerful. This ought to be high priority expression and uh, just managing our life a little better, I think, uh, can, uh, can lead to that kind of vocal communication with the Lord. Mm -hmm.